How are you wonderful people doing? My name is Michael, is known as Third Gen Gamer, and welcome to our Sleep Lock announcement video. So yes, it is finally time to talk about the Sleep Lock. Yes. So I know we've teased it over the last couple weeks. Like, for example, uh, I would be like, oh, Sleep Lock on May 9th of 2020 at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I didn't talk about the game. I didn't give out much details. I was just like, hey, that, there's a Sleep Lock coming up. Look forward to it. Mark your calendars. Uh, set your reminders on your phone because this is going to be a good time. Which also, I mean, if you hit your bell icon, it's definitely helpful as well. So you can get notifications whenever the live stream starts. Because you never know. I might have some technical difficulties and it might push back the stream a little bit. Who knows? I doubt it. But like I said, it's pretty unpredictable when all that stuff happens. But yes, we're doing that for a special occasion, which is the one year anniversary, which is on May 4th of 2020. Uh, this announcement video is a little bit early, and also we have about a week and a half before the sleep block. But I just want to give you guys some time to, you know, prepare, plan, be like, just ha just make sure you can be able to get there, you know, and be there. But yes, we'll be playing a Pokemon game uh, from the whole day to late evening because obviously, well, we are going to be doing a sleep block, and sleep block is you cannot go to bed unless you beat the Pokemon game or you give up. And obviously we're planning on winning the sleep block. So, you know, we're just going to, we're going to play until we win, you know, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I just want to say before I actually announce the sleep block, I just want to say thank you so much for this fantastic first year. I mean, I honestly didn't expect anything like this to happen within our first year. Like for example, my goals were like, Hey, after the first year, I'll be able to, I just was hoping I could break a thousand subscribers and either possibly already have landed a, a partnership or, basically you know or just get it quickly after the one year mark and we got it in december on christmas eve so i really do appreciate everyone that uh that's been there to support me and my uh in my work because yeah it definitely takes a lot of time to make the content that i make and i'm glad to see that everyone's enjoying it and i really do appreciate it so technically my i've been on youtube for many many years starting in 2011 when i was on the battle productions and, uh, I, I mean, I uploaded Pokemon content and then I kind of drifted away a little bit to do some other games. And then I started doing the Pokemon trading card game and all that stuff. And, uh, ultimately I just came back to Pokemon, just playing Pokemon games. And, you know, I kind of just, you know, played for the heck of it. It was only a hobby. It was nothing super serious. And yeah, over the six or seven years or so, we accumulated like 13,000 subscribers or something crazy like that. And it's just, it's pretty phenomenal how much, uh, how much that channel grew considering the variety of content that I put on my channel. And uh, yeah, no, I mean, just being a little kid, being able to grow 13,000 is it's quite remarkable. But obviously when I actually came back to YouTube because I'd left for a while, then I came back and I was like, you know what? Let's just start from scratch. And that's how third gen gamer came to be. So yeah, I mean, we've definitely come a long way. I would have not expected to break 4,000 subscribers within our first year. And that's just amazing. And then also... I mean, I, I, my goal with this channel was to really form our own community. Sure. I mean, we're all a part of the Pokemon community and I'm very happy to be a part of it, but I felt like that'd be cool if we had our own little community. And really, I didn't think after the first year that was actually going to happen. I mean, that would have been, I was thinking, oh, it'd be nice, but I think it'd probably take a couple of years. No, it literally took less than a year to form the community that we have made together. And it's just amazing. And I appreciate every single one of you. So. With that being said, it is time to announce the Pokemon game for the sleep block. So the sleep block that'll be coming up on May 9th and it will be at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the Pokemon Omega Ruby one year anniversary randomized Nuzlocke. So, yes, this is uh, I mean, I am third gen gamer, so obviously I'd want to do uh, a game in Hoenn when uh, for my one year anniversary. I mean, it would make sense. But I didn't want to do Emerald because obviously we have an incomplete series of Pokemon Emerald Astrolock on the channel. And then we did the Emerald three-way versus. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do Emerald for the third time. So I decided, hey, you know what? We'll do, we'll do Gen 6, Gen 3 remakes. I think that'll be good. First time ever using the uh, Citra and having randomized ROMs for 3DS. And uh, yeah. So it's going to be, it's going to be a good time to stay tuned for that because it's going to be exciting. Also, I want to give a special thanks to Demogon for the graphics. I met him at PAX East 2020 
And uh, yeah, I know he did a fantastic job on the art. I only showed the logo in this video. The art itself will be debuted in a countdown timer. So it'll be very exciting. You guys will be able to see it then. And uh, yeah, it is. It, he did a really good job and he did it in a timely manner as well. So definitely go give that man some love. And if you are looking for graphics, definitely go hit up demo because he is definitely an awesome person. I'll put the link down below in the description to his Twitter. So if you want to get a hold of him, hey, that's where you need to go. And also, there's one more thing I wanted to drop to uh, for you guys, and that was a Google Doc. And basically, over the last year, I've been updating it over the year because I was over the year because I was like, you know, I kind of want something that uh, something documented about the channel, like just. That's how, like, whatever happened in each year. So within year one, I've been constantly updating statistics and milestones. And also I added a reflection towards the end of, of the first year on that, uh, on that document. And, uh, yeah, I was like, you know what, let's just release it so everyone could take a look at it. And then of course it may not seem like a whole lot now, but that'd be really cool. Three or four years down the line, take a look at this document and see all the, the progression of the channel. Also, the progression of kind of like all the things that were going on at the time in my reflection for every single year. I just think it'd be really cool. And I wanted to share that with you guys. And normally I was going to give it to you all uh, like an hour before the sleep block. But I was like, you know what? I'll drop it along this. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be a good thing. With that being said, uh, I think this one's rather short and sweet, this video. I mean, normally I did previous attempts and they weren't necessarily as good. And then the one that I thought was I was satisfied with uh, decided to not record the audio. So here I am doing it again, but this time I actually got through in like a decent time. I got through everything I wanted to. So, um, yeah, be sure to, uh, set your reminders, set, mark your calendars for sleep lock on May 9th, because it is going to be quite the journey. And, uh, thank you so much for watching this announcement video and definitely, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you there at the sleep lock. So yeah, with that being said, see you guys later.